Hello everyone, my name is Isha Verma, and today I will be talking about how AI is transforming cancer detection and treatment. Two years ago, my grandmother's story highlighted the critical gaps in our healthcare system. In early 2022, my grandma realized that she had a small lump. She went to the doctor to rule this out, and the initial doctor ensured her that everything was fine. But only a few months later, she realized this lump was growing, and she went back to a new doctor. And this time, we were faced with a heavy truth, lymphoma. After months of harsh treatment, thankfully, now she is okay. But this experience is not uncommon. Oftentimes, understaffed doctors struggle to find the time needed for comprehensive examinations. In their long and strenuous shifts, doctors will get tired and they might make a mistake. And these misdiagnoses are inexcusable in the world of cancer, where a few weeks, months, or even days can allow a fatal tumor to form. In the months following during my grandmother's treatment, I questioned, could this have been any different? Could technology have aided her cancer detection and found it earlier? And I believe that the power of this lies in, the, in artificial intelligence. Now, I want you to imagine AI as a tireless and countable assistant for doctors, analyzing vast amounts of data to identify patterns that are invisible to the human eye. Now, how exactly does AI work? Think of AI like teaching a child. When we teach a child, we expose it to numerous examples, and they develop the inclination of finding a pattern. Similarly, artificial intelligence is trained with patterns, with, with data that has a lot of patterns. From this data, they can analyze and predict potential outcomes. And this power is so necessary in the field of cancer genomics. The human genome, with a staggering 3 billion base pairs, requires meticulous analysis to pinpoint a single mutation that triggers cancer formation. While we understand this problem, analyzing and detecting the single mutation within the vast ocean of data that is our genome requires the help of computational tools, specifically artificial intelligence. Now, how can we find the single mutation? Doctors and researchers use a technique called variant calling. Essentially, what this is, is doctors will compare a patient's DNA to a healthy human reference genome, searching along the sequences for differences. The variations that they find, called variants, can be in the form of a single mutation or missing and even extra chunks of DNA. Finding these variations is key to cancer diagnosis and detection. But currently, and in the past, variant calling has been slow and prone to errors. But here's where AI steps in. Tools like Google's Deep Variant, which is a deep learning AI system, analyzes vast amounts of data and compares two sequences to find differences in the genome. This allows doctors to diagnose diseases, and re recognizing this power has fueled me to do research of my own. Over the past few months, I have been researching extra chromosomal DNA which are small circles of DNA that break off linear human chromosomes. These circles of DNA, referred to as villains, are very dangerous as they confuse the body in the intricate process of cell division. ECDNAs are found in precancerous cells and increase the risk and severity of cancer forming by 30%, which means that detecting these ECDNAs are crucial to aid cancer treatment and prevention. But the detection of ECDNAs currently requires very expensive and complex methods of genome sequencing. My research has attempted to use an inexpensive and easily accessible genome sequencing technique called SMP6 arrays. Using data extracted from these arrays, we have built an AI model that can predict and detect ECDNA in cancer patients. 
While this was just a first step, it opened my eyes and made me excited of the power that AI holds in the field of cancer genomics and where the future can take us. Next, I want you to imagine a future of precision medicine. What is it? Personalized medicine allows doctors to tailor treatments that are specific to a patient's genetic makeup. This allows them to choose specific therapies or drugs that are based on a patient's genetic, ancestral, and environmental conditions. Recently, the widespread adoption of electronic health records in the healthcare system allows a, a goldmine of data to be available for artificial intelligence. And analyzing this data, artificial intelligence can go beyond a single doctor's experience and create patterns. This means that artificial intelligence has the data equivalent to hundreds of doctors from different backgrounds, meaning that we have a multi-factor approach and capability to detecting and diagnosing rare diseases. And with the idea of AI, we can transform the standard of care. I want to tell you a story of personalized medicine and where this was used. At Wheels Cornell Healthcare System, a patient who was struggling with terrible symptoms was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, or AML. This is a very rare blood cancer type, and the patient feared her odds of survival. But her oncologist, or doctor, referred her case to a team of geneticists. What they did was groundbreaking. They made the discovery by analyzing the patient's genome that her genes were clustered together in a way that is not typically found. This allowed the doctors to tailor a treatment that was very specific to the, the, the person's genetic makeup. Essentially, this treatment was proven successful and the patient is now resulting in remission. Wow, right? Where else is AI being success successful? The National Institute of Health themselves say that artificial intelligence possesses the capability to effectively detect cancer in of various types, including lung cancer, brain cancer, and prostate cancer. And surprisingly enough, artificial intelligence has shown to have a higher accuracy at, present, at predicting cancer than clinicians themselves. But as we talk about the exciting new discoveries in artificial intelligence, we must realize that no rose comes without its thorns. We have to address the ethical considerations behind artificial intelligence. Who is held responsible when artificial intelligence misdiagnoses the patient? Is it the doctor, the programmer, or the AI system itself? These are questions that as a society, we must work together in the future, in the new era of artificial intelligence. My grandmother's story wasn't just a statistic. It was fear. Fear that choked my family when we realized that the enemy had a head start. But fear, as destabilizing as can be, can also serve as a catalyst. It fueled my motivation to strive for a future in which stories like hers become less common. And this future is not out of reach. It's not with magic. It's with the power of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence promises a future in which cancer diagnosis and treatment are more personalized, effective, and precise. Let's not shy away from the ethical considerations, and let's harness the power of AI for the greater good and empowering a healthier and more hopeful future for us all. Thank you.